I absolutely love to transfer all sorts of images and photographs and text to lots of different materials including clay and air dry clay and wood for wood signs fabric and much more. There are so many ways to transfer these images and so today I'll show you this amazing way. I will share with you my laser engraving ideas and projects. Here I have an air dry clay trinket dish that I made in one of my other videos. I would really like to print a nice crisp logo on the back of this air dry clay. So I'm going to test out this laser engraver and see if it's up to the job. Later in the video I will also show you lots of different ways we can use this. This is the Longer Ray 5 which is a desktop laser engraver. It's really easy to use, I just have my logo as a JPEG here. I'm using this free software Laser GRBL or another software you can use is Lightburn. All you have to do is open your image in the software then there are some simple and easy tools to use at the bottom, just like there I did the framing and you can see where your image is going to go. Click start and it begins to engrave. I do this in my garage with the door wide open so there's lots of ventilation. And I've also always got my safety goggles on. This is really exciting to see how this is turning out on the air dry clay. And it really is working and I'm getting a lovely logo image on the bottom of my clay. You can of course add the pattern and the detail to the front of your clay in this way as well. You can see I had a little practice on the MDF board below as well. With the software you can play around with the settings and make it darker or lighter as you wish. You can make the laser go quicker or slower and also alter the strength of the laser. The blue cross there tracks where you're up to with your design. I really do love all my air dry clay projects and so this laser engraver actually brings about lots more ideas and we can really explore and see what else we can do with this laser engraving technique. I've had a few problems with the engraver just stopping midway during the project but it's not stopped me completing a project and so in another later video I'm going to show the reviews of several laser engravers including this longer Ray 5. And here on my clay I'm absolutely thrilled with how the logos turned out and I'll be able to use this for lots more of my projects. My clay is not super smooth on the bottom but if you do get it much smoother I think it will give an even more perfect finish. But I'm really happy with this and I'm really excited to carry on and do some more projects. After drying the clay I really thought it would engrave my ceramic plate but I think I need to play around with the settings to see if I can find a way to do this. But as you can see from this list there are many material options and so many ways to use this laser engraver and cutter. So I have some painted wood and I'm going to have a lot of fun creating, designing and making lots of wood signs with this. The working area of the longer Ray 5 is 41 centimeters by 41 centimeters. In the free GRBL software, there are lots of different options to choose, depending what it is you want to create. You can click this little book icon to give you lots of the options. And to make this wood sign, I can again click engrave and select the dimensions of your choice. The image that I've created, Flight to Imagination, is just another JPEG that I've created and you can do this in lots of different software. So create your own for your own style or you can find lots of images to use on the internet. Using the tools at the bottom we can make sure that we are engraving where we want to engrave on our wood. So here I've pressed centre and that blue dot goes to the centre and I can centre that on my piece of wood. Good ventilation is essential and I found it really handy to blow all those fumes out of the garage. And again, special safety goggles are important when using your laser engraver. It's so exciting to see this come together and do its magic. As I say, you can create lots of different sizes and scales for your image and just select which size you actually want. So here I'm making mine again, just a little bit smaller. And if you have a design that you want to print over and over again, you can just save this and do so. You could be up and running with a business in no time. Please do take a look at my other videos and laser engraving videos, including the reviews. The engraving often leaves a slight residue and so this can be wiped or washed away. 
You can engrave on lots of different wood to make lots of beautiful wood signs and home decor. Here I quickly made my logo into a lovely wood sign. And I can place this wood sign here in my videos so you remember me as Red Rocking Bird. I absolutely love my new wood sign and the possibilities are absolutely endless. These really would make fantastic gifts as well. I love to sew and do felt craft and so I thought I'd put the laser engraver to the test and see how well I could cut out my fabric and felt. I opened the shapes as JPEGs in the software and clicked on cut cloth and here the laser is doing its magic. I got some really great results and some really crisp cuts. If you love to work with fabric then I'm sure you could think of many things you could make with this. Here are some more fabric shapes that I also cut and also these out of some paper. These are just some recycled envelopes and I could cut these as little gift tags from paper. The engraver also cuts cardboard so there's the opportunity to make lots of wonderful cards like this and even more elaborate ones too. In another of my videos I show you how to make these cute birds and so I transferred the templates onto the laser engraver and cut these out of some lovely fabric. So I'm sure there's a use for this laser engraver whatever your craft. The fabric did scorch a little on the edges but using the seam allowance you won't actually see this. Adjusting the settings could solve this. So I cut many of the different shapes out of different fabrics and then you can mix and match them and sew them up as I show you in the video. So if you'd like to give it a go please go and take a look. Laser engravers are a fantastic tool to have and there are so many opportunities for different projects. I've cut these out to make a cute coaster and so I've done a double layer and then glued them together. And then I will glue them all together like this and then paint them up all lovely. So there's so much opportunity here to personalise lots of different items. I had a little play and designed and cut these as some pendant lights. Two round discs with slits in in the centre there and I can glue all these in place and I've sprayed them black. These are just some little prototypes to see if I want to make them larger for my home. Then the fitting and the light bulb will go together like this. If you wondered about delivery and assembly of the laser engraver, then it comes packaged all nice like this, all labelled up and easy to assemble. This Ray 5 model also has a touch screen which is really handy and you can use it away from your computer by just simply adding in the SD card and working off that. It was easy and quick to assemble and I did it with my son as you saw there. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next videos.